Admitting wrongdoing. Understanding the phrase in English. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and important phrase, admit wrongdoing. This phrase is not only common in everyday English but also carries significant meaning in various contexts. Whether you're a language enthusiast or improving your English skills, understanding this phrase will definitely enrich your language arsenal. Admit wrongdoing is a phrase composed of two words, admit and wrongdoing. Let's break them down, admit. This verb means to confess or acknowledge something, especially something that is generally considered negative or undesirable. Wrongdoing, this noun refers to bad or illegal behavior. When combined, admit wrongdoing means to confess to having done something wrong or illegal. The phrase, admit wrongdoing, can be used in various contexts. Legal, in a court or legal situation, admitting wrongdoing often involves accepting responsibility for a crime or a legal action. Personal relationships, here, it usually refers to acknowledging a mistake or misbehavior towards someone else, like a friend or family member. Public scenarios, when public figures or organizations admit wrongdoing, they are acknowledging their mistakes or unethical actions to the public. To better understand, let's see some examples. 1. The company admitted wrongdoing in the case of environmental damage. 2. He admitted his wrongdoing and apologized for his actions. 3. It's rare for politicians to admit wrongdoing in their decisions. Understanding synonyms can also help grasp the phrase's meaning. Some synonyms include, confess to a fault, acknowledge a mistake, own up to an error. In conclusion, admit wrongdoing is a powerful phrase that denotes the acknowledgement of negative or illegal actions. It's used in various contexts and is an important part of the English lexicon we hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Keep practicing and exploring, and you'll continue to improve your English skills. See you in the next video.